Good everyone, my name is Graphics. If you look at the right hand side of the screen, you will see a figure and we are told to draw the sectional end view of this given figure. Now, if you look at the figure closely, I have redrawn the figure here, right? And I have drawn out all the views associated to the figure, whereby Looking at this side from the diagram, this is the elevation. Then this will be the end view, right? And looking from here will be the plan. Is that okay now? Now the nurse said that if this is the end view, right, which I have produced, if this is the end view, what will the sectional elevation, sectional end view look like? If you cut it in this manner, now look at what I am about to do. If you do what? If you cut it in this manner from here. So if I start from here and I cut here this way, long, short, long, right? And it's going into I'm cutting it out. Let me just show you what they're trying to say. So we're cutting it here. So if I should cut it, right? Looking at this direction. here right and we're still moving we're not done we're still cutting it here we're still cutting it If it comes down, the way you cut this thing this way, you're looking at this direction where the arrow is pointing. Right, you're looking at the direction of what <clears throat> this way, where they are responding. What would the elevation look like? What would be the end view looking like? Now, I have uh, successfully drawn this in orthography projection. And if you're so interested in the link on how to construct this in both isometric in orthography projection, right, the way I did it this way, you can click on this link. At the top right corner of the screen to show you how to transform this into orthographic projection right now similarly if you want to know how to draw this in isometric projection right you can also click on this link at the top right corner of the screen here or you check on the description on the uh, description box or the comment section to get two of the link, both isometric and orthographic, right? Now, let's proceed. So, if I cut this into two, we know this is the front elevation, the end view, and the what, the plan. So, if I should cut this into two, 
looking at this direction, this is what I am going to be having. So this is what you'll be having, right? So all this part here, this is what we are going to be what to be having. Static in. So I'm going to start sectioning it. But I'll bring this guy out because a web he will not section out the web. Do they have the same thing it has? Right? That is what you'll be having. So now let's see. So if I bring this out this way, if I section here, remember that this also is closed. And here also is closed. So let's start sectioning it. All this part where my knife touch, I'm going to what? section that. So let me just use this. 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 Can you see that? So you will not section here because that is where the knife is touching. The knife is not touching here, it's free. When you slice it, where we undergo friction, where the, the cutting plane will touch is all this part you section. That's what I'm going to affect here. So meaning that my hidden line will become thick line, right? So if I come here, I'll section this. So I'll make all this hidden line to become what? Thick line because the sectional has exposed the hidden features. So I'll now use my 45 degrees set square, then I'll start doing the net fold from here. So I'm going to section here, section here. Sorry, you will not section here, I mean you section this part here. So, section this part. Can you see that? In here. Can you see that? So this side here will be free. Is that okay? To be what? It will be free. So they only wanted the sectional elevation looking from the side. That is why I am drawing that for you. So, um, if you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and also share the video. Thanks for watching.